time and space are unordered for different individuals. When we meet in the same time and space, it is called the right timing and also fate. I enjoy observing humans. I think it's important for filmmakers to observe the subtle things in life. Many interesting stories come from the little things in life. Drinking tea on a bench in the park and watching people come and go is what I like to do in my leisure time. Sometimes I also do things that may seem unethical, such as eavesdropping. In restaurants, bars, and parks, the person sitting next to you may be having an interesting conversation. Once I overheard a 30-year-old woman complaining to her friend on the phone about a 50-year-old male professor who flirted with her despite having a wife. If you pay more attention, you may be able to connect the events that happen in everyday life and create a fascinating story. I enjoy photography. Since junior high school, I have been using a camera to document my life. I like street photography a lot. In my hometown and the city where I used to live, I often walk around with a camera, talk to different people, and understand what they are doing, capturing the daily behaviors of people on the street, in the shops, and building around them. I'm not particularly concerned about beauty, but I enjoy capturing cute, interesting, or even bizarre, strange moments in daily life. I enjoy recording my dreams, which often involve strange events. Last night, I dreamed that I was pregnant and decided to have the child. In reality, I'm a feminist who is afraid of marriage and having children, so I felt a little bit uneasy upon waking up. I grew up reading Harry Potter. I enjoy movies of all genres, including dramas, mysterious, horror, and romance. I love complex character relationships. Clever dialogue and stories that touch the heart. I admire Eric Omar, Kim Ki Duk, David Lynch, Satoshi Kon, Park Chan Wook, Lee Chang Dong, and Roman Polanski. There's somewhat sad and ironic thing, which is that some of the male directors that I like are controversial, with their sexual scandals constantly emerging. I love their works. But their private lives and male chauvinism are despicable. So this toxic masculinity is also something I want to change. As a film feminist, I hope that the film industry can have more female voices and more excellent female film workers can have the opportunity to demonstrate their skills. Gender equality will become the true thought in everybody's heart, not just a politically correct slogan. I hope that in films, women are not just beautiful figures of desire that men gaze upon. But they should be dynamic, thoughtful, and vigorous. They can be weak and lovely, as well as strong and crazy. Therefore, as a female filmmaker, I will continue to create and think and fight and produce better films.